Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to make this padded wall uh, room right here. And you only require, you can start from one tile, you can make all of this. It's a very simple process. The problem, but it, this one is just for a cubical shape, but I can also show you how to make uh, any type of room with any dimensions you want. So let's just go here and create a new scene, delete the cube and before I can start I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you what I'm clicking so you don't get lost so then uh, after deleting that cube I'm going to add a plane rotated on the Y axis go inside the edit mode then subdivide on 7 cuts and on the center what I'm going to I'm, I'm going to go into face selection and click all of these faces then go G, X I make something drastic like this and I'm going to add a subdivision modifier shade and to smooth and apply I think this is okay uh, before I can I just want to see if it looks good if it looks good I'm gonna add an array just to see if it, if it is what I want and I think it needs a little bit more uh, extrusion not extrusion but movement here that yeah, I think that's okay. So let's just apply this subdivision and then I'm going to be sure that, make sure that all of these vertices on the top are on the same axis or the same coordinates. So S set zero and on the sides S Y zero, the same process on the other side. And we're done. I'm just gonna save this as a as a tutorial but it was save and now I'm gonna add an array uh, I'm gonna add like 10 on the height I'm gonna add 10 blocks and on the let's say the and on the width I'm going to add uh, 10 blocks too but this is gonna be not on the x uh, axis, but on the g axis. Then, ah, sorry, one, and then ten on the count. And I have this uh, sort of like a square with all these tiles on it, and it's looking good. So uh, actually, it looks a little. You can come here and modify the the mesh that you created I'm just gonna make it you know a little bit more um, oh I'm just gonna make it a little bit less depth uh, because I think it's it's too much I'm just gonna go into proportionality and just Try to fix it like that. Not too much, like a little bit. There. This will look better. Yeah, something like that. A little bit more. There. So now, uh, now that that is finished, I'm going to uh, make a cube. And I'm gonna just leave it like that. And I'm also going to make this as small as possible. I'm gonna make it as small as the cube. And then let's go. Let's get it really close. And I'm going to apply all of this, all of these arrays, apply, apply. Uh, we're gonna come back to this, so I'm just gonna save this and then save. Uh, I'm just gonna do something better. I'm gonna leave this in one scene, uh, call it. Uh, scene one and then I'm gonna copy it a uh, full copy and in this scene we're gonna do the cubicle room so and on the other one we're gonna make any type of room so if you wanna make a cubicle room let's just del click on the edit mode of the cube delete the top face and then go here and I want to scale this uh, so it has the same measurements as the cube so it has like two two meters so two meters it has uh, more or less 
and I'm gonna remove all rotation from this and now uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, com set the origin on the center of the of the geometry but first I have to apply all the modifiers apply arrays and I set origin to geometry like that and I'm going to try to put it on the center of the cube like that like that so I'm gonna parent this uh, while to the cube ah before yeah no actually let's continue just parent this while to the cube uh shift p i think and then uh, i'm going to go into object properties on 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 instances i'm gonna go here on object properties to instancing and choose faces and then it creates this this cube right here uh, but the problem with this is that uh, it, it's not very first of all the faces are on the outside but not, not on the inside and we want to make that room so to solve that uh, you're gonna go into the cube and then you're gonna click here on these overlays uh, let you uh, click on face orientation it's gonna let you see like the, the normals where is the orientation of each face blue means that uh, this is the right side of the orientation and this is it red is the opposite so we want the right side of the orientation to be on the inside of the cube for that we're gonna go click on the cube go into edit mode select all vertices and then on mesh there is a normals section just click flip and then we can see that the cube was also flipped on on the superior part and now we can deactivate the face orientation on the overlays so we have that that room but it's not complete you can see that the, the there is like these spaces here so to so to be sure that this doesn't happen we're gonna go click on the on the wall going to edit mode actually we're gonna click on the cube going to edit mode and we're gonna make it like we're gonna just scale it like this actually just remove the proportion editing we're going to go into the the orthographic view top and just, we're just gonna scale the cube so it just connects all the walls with each other in a very ideal way like that it doesn't have to be perfect something like that and then uh, we have our room but the problem is that it's on th there is like this face on the middle it's just a reference well uh, so in, what we're going to do is just go into edit mode and put all this cube all the way up and it's fixed now we have a room right there and let's add another face so we got we have the roof right here and fill and then you have your room right there it's kind of hard to see so I'm just gonna make this cube bigger so it's easier to navigate and you can see that you have all your your walls there so but this only works if you want just like a cubicle room if you want let's save it if you want uh, a room that has any type of dimensions that you can just duplicate the walls and snap snap them like this select the cube and sh click on this uh, wall that we had that had the arrays not applied like this and let's say I want a really long like a hallway so I'm gonna make this uh, the second array very long and then I'm going to uh, duplicate this not too long like like that I'm going to duplicate this uh, wall and I'm gonna rotate it 180 degrees oh, and I'm just gonna leave that there and then I'm gonna duplicate this wall again move it on the X a little bit and I'm gonna make it a little shorter like that and rotate it negative 90 degrees and go above all the way up here with the G axis and to connect this wall to the other wall I'm gonna use the this one the vertex uh, snap to like that 
and just gotta zoom in and plug it like that it's kind of precise something like that yeah and then uh, on the other side the same thing we're gonna plug it uh, these walls together <laughs> floor let's just duplicate this and rotate it on the g axis 90 degrees actually negative 90 degrees and then this tutorial is getting very long but we are almost there and we're going to just make this uh, longer on the first array so it has uh, a total of let's see 16 counts and I'm just gonna go here on the G and plug it in and you have your your roof and now we just need the uh, lower part so we're going to duplicate this but duplicate it and don't move just duplicate it's kind of hard just duplicate and then rotate it on the z axis no. on the g axis 90 no on the g rotate on g 180 degrees and then plug it like that and you have your room finished this is your padded wall room so thank you for seeing my video i'm just adding some likes here so this is how you can see it better on the render mode and yeah thank you for seeing uh i hope it was useful for you see you in the next one